briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1920, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Missouri v. Holland, which dealt with the issue of whether Congress could pass laws to effectuate valid treaties. The case began after the United States entered into a treaty with Great Britain in 1916 to provide increased protection for migratory birds. In response, Congress enacted the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918, making it illegal to kill, capture, or sell protected birds. However, the state of Missouri filed a bill in court arguing that the statute violated the Tenth Amendment and the state's sovereign rights, claiming ownership over wild birds within its borders. The district court dismissed the bill and upheld the constitutionality of the statute, prompting an appeal from the state of Missouri. The central question of the appeal was whether the treaty and the statute infringed upon states' rights. Given that treaty-making power is delegated to the federal government under Article II, Section 2 of the Constitution and all treaties are considered the supreme law of the land under Article VI, the Supreme Court ultimately ruled that Congress could indeed pass laws to enforce valid treaties. In justifying its decision, the court emphasized that implementing statutes for valid treaties were also valid under Article I, Section 8. Additionally, the court noted that Congress had a responsibility to make the Constitution functional by enforcing treaties, thereby upholding the Migratory Bird Treaty Act and overriding the state of Missouri's claims. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.